Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering why it's been, oh, a good three, four weeks since I have recorded any videos. Um, the weekend before last, I was walking into a radiology office on Friday morning after I had been to PT. And I wasn't feeling well, you know, I had those migraines and that's why I was walking into the radiology to get another test to try to determine what's causing my migraines. You know, and I was feeling nauseous and faint and dizzy and all that. And when I walked in there, I was feeling like that. So I did like I always do. I grabbed a wall and I was walking in there really gently and slowly. And my legs felt really jelloey all of a sudden, like, like they weren't going to hold out. And I thought, I need to find a place to sit down. So I had pulled open their double doors to, to walk in. And I looked at the receptionist and she looked at me and there was a man standing there checking in or out, I don't know. And he turned around and he looked at me and that's the last thing I remember. My legs just went, I passed out cold, fell backwards, hit the back of my head. And I woke up looking at the ceiling lights and I remember thinking, they don't know I passed out. There's no one here. They're, they're talking in very calm voices over there and no one's coming. <laughs> and they were talking in calm voices, but they were calling an ambulance. And pretty soon there was a man on this side and a woman on this side talking to me. Anyway, a long story short, I spent seven and a half hours in the emergency waiting room before anyone saw me, um, which I think is crazy because I could have had a stroke or a ble brain bleed or any number of things and they just let me sit out there. Um, they did have me come back and they did an EKG and um, they did do, do my vitals and things like that. But otherwise I sat out there and you know, a lot of times I couldn't even hold my head up. I was just, you know, dazed and confused. I didn't sleep. Um, so anyway, when they got me back in the ER, um, it was like seven in the evening and, and this had happened around 11 in the morning. So they did run some more tests. They didn't see anything. Um, they said I didn't have any fractures to my skull or any other parts of my body. Um, I did not have a stroke. I did, I did not have any signs of a seizure. So they admitted me um, kept me overnight just for observation. Um, the next day, a, the hospital staff neurologist came in to see me and he said, you know, do you have a neurologist? I said, yes. He said, uh, is she treating you for migraine? And I said, well, she put me on Nemenda. And he said, Nemenda is not first line treatment for migraine. And I said, and he said, it's for memory loss. And I said, I know she put me on that because I'm struggling with some memory loss. And she said, it also sometimes helps for headaches. And he said, it's not first line treatment for, mem for uh, migraine. And I said, okay, I know. And um, I said, it's an, he said, it's an, is it helping? I said, no, it's not helping. And um, he just shook his head and he looked like he was appalled and you know how doctors in, in a certain field, cardiologists, they know of other cardiologists, brain surgeons know of other brain surgeons. Well, he had never heard of her and he had never heard of her practice, what the title of it was. And so he said, you need treatment for migraine. <laughs> he was very emphatic. I said, yes, I do, you know. And so he put me on a new treatment plan for migraine and I haven't had, a, didn't have a migraine for 11 days since I left the hospital. And then a couple of days ago, they came back um, very mildly, not debilitating like I'm in my bed, can't cook dinner, can't do the dishes, can't function. Um, not like that, just very mildly. I've been working in my garage for three days now. Um, I'm doing a big garage purge. Anything that we haven't used in three years since we moved into this house is going. Um, a lot of things we have used, obviously, the lawnmower and the Christmas decorations we have used, so they'll stay, but there's a lot of stuff we haven't used, and we didn't even use at the townhouse um, bef before we moved here, but I dragged it over here anyway. Oh, maybe we'll use it. Well, we haven't. So I've been working on that, and I have had a mild migraine while out there working, but it's not enough to keep me down, um, so I'm giving the medicine more time. 
I haven't been on because it has had some miserable side effects while I've gotten, you know, my body's adjusted to it, but I've been patient because he said most of the side effects are temporary if you just give it time. And he's right. Most of them are gone now. Um, so anyway, I don't want to belabor this, but I'm doing much, much better. And um, so that's what happened. And it was kind of scary passing out because I've only ever lost consciousness one other time in my life um, when I was a child and fell off a swing onto um, the concrete ground. And um, I woke up on my couch with a police officer standing over me looking to see if I was okay. And apparently he patrolled by the elementary school where I was playing at after school and some kids ran and got him and he put me in his cruiser and took me home. And um, that's the only other time in my life I've ever lost consciousness. So it was kind of scary, um, but I'm fine. So onward and upward, I have two Happy Meals to share with you this morning. Um, the oldest one is what I'm going to start with, in all fairness. Um, this this Happy Meal is from Stacy's, my friend Stacy at Stacy's Stash. Um, she's so sweet. I had, you know, come on um, with a short video about the Thumbs Down Lady. And <laughs> Stacy put a comment underneath, like, she said, I'm just walking out the door with a happy mail that just so happens to be addressed to, guess who, you. And I thought it was so sweet. I had no idea she was doing it. And um, she sent it and I waited several days to go to the post office and it still wasn't there when I went. And then I waited a couple of more days and it was there. And I was waiting for prime time to, for me to have time to do a couple of videos in one sitting and then that hospital thing happened and so this has been sitting here well it's been two weeks since the hospital weekend and this has been sitting here at least five days before that so I apologize Stacy um, things have been rough around here and I'm just now having a Sunday morning where I feel good enough and things are okay around here so I can get to it so it is one of these priority mailboxes medium flat rate box and I'm not gonna show her dress. So this is the size that it is, nice chunky box. And Stacy, God love you. I mean, I couldn't use a Happy Mail package more than I can right now. And you didn't have to do this, but I so appreciate that you did. And the timing was wonderful. So let's see guys what she's... Oh, what's this? Stacy, what's this? This open me. Oh, where's my glasses? There's a pair right there. Something fell. I don't know what that was. He's still the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. Psalm 10729. This is a Bible cover with an ocean theme. And it's got a sea turtle on it. I'm gonna cry. Look, it's Bible cover. And I can use it. I have Bibles that will fit in this. Open me. Oh, look it. Oh, no. Oh, look it. This paper pad came from Karen West. She said I could send it to you since you like lemons. Like lemons? I'm crazy for lemons. Look at this. You guys. Look at all the lemons. And there's um some lemon lime one and a pineapple one. And I love strawberries. Look at the strawberry one. Oh, this is so cute, Stacy. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use this. Looks like it's called Hello Lemon. Oh, it's adorable, thank you. And then look at this lemon fabric. So cute. You know, I cover journals in this, or when I make, excuse me, I'm drinking Diet Coke, it's coming to burp. Um, or when I make board books, journals, I cover the pages in these. 
and look, I already have some of this, but I cannot you get enough of this sunflower fabric. Now look at how beautiful that is. It's just gorgeous. I have some, but I've used some of it. So I'm glad you restocked me with that. And look at this little lemon washi. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, Stacy, you're so kind. She's been gathering little stuff from me and keeping her little mouth shut about it. Little stink. Oh, look at these ocean-themed charms. And there's a sea turtle and a crab. I am Cancer, sign of the crab. And I love starfish and I adore seahorses. Look at that. And little seashells. Oh, it's so cute and an octopus. <gasps> where is she? Oh, I don't. I know where she got these. The Paper Studio. She got these at Hobby Lobby, and I have not seen these. Cause if I did, I would have stocked up. Look at these sunflower charms. I have sunflower charms that are like all silver. They're not colored. Look at these. They're colored the colors of sunflowers. Oh, Stacy, thank you so much. Mwah. I love you. There's more in here. Like, like the Bible cover wasn't enough just by itself. I would have been gaga for that with a little sea turtle in the front and go, ran in my bedroom and got my Bible, put it in there, and that would have been, I would have been a happy camper all the way. And there's this little pink package, guys, that I'm opening. I hope everyone's doing well. It is Mother's Day, which is bittersweet for me. I'm happy, you know, because I have my two sons, but um, I miss my mama. And it's bittersweet because I'm my, my daughter isn't here. So, <gasps> look at this. <gasps> she got me some jewelry set. <gasps> no, -uh. it's sea turtles. My favorite. They do. They, they beat out my mind. They do. <gasps> what is this, Stacey? Where did you get this? <gasps> oh, it's a wooden magnet. Look. And it's in magenta. My favorite color. <gasps> did you make this? Girl, look at that. It's a refrigerator magnet. Or you can put it on your file cabinet. <gasps> Love that. Oh, and look what's in here. <laughs> And sometimes when you find these, like there's only one sea turtle on it and then there's a, other sea stuff on it. There are four sea turtles. So I don't have to worry about hoarding the one because I won't have any more. I have four. Four. Did you hear me? I said four. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <gasps> Look at my little bracelet. Oh my gosh. I don't have one of these or anything like it. Look at the little bracelet with the sea turtle. Oh, can you see him? Oh, he's so cute. I'm putting him on right now. Look, he's adorable. Stacy. Oh, you've been building me up a little package. That is the such sweetest thing you could do. Oh my gosh. Thank you, girlfriend. Aww. I'm opening up this other pink package. I'm not telling you, I'm just doing. and jazz and these are little ballerina do I have something white on the back yeah, I do. these stickers so you can see it's all the ballerina things and she loved it she loved it as a child she danced from the time she could stand I mean to tell you she was hearing impaired and we went to little concerts and things at her school and uninvited and unannounced, she left her seat and went up in front of the concert 
where the band was and everything and just stood there and danced. And although she couldn't hear very well, she could feel the beat and she just moved her body to it. And she was two years old doing that. So she, um, we put her in dance class when she was very young and she loved it. And she did very well. She could dance just as well as the other girls. Wow, thank you so much. That I am creating journals in honor of Julie. And um, I will use, uh oh, I see something on the back about, oh, I don't have these stamps. Stacy. I love you, girl. I love you so much. Oh. You are fabulous, incredible, wonderful, beautiful inspiration. My favorite mother, nana, sister, friend, daughter. Has beautiful ballerina tutus and the ballerina and the sentiments look and it has daughter so I can apply that to her journal. Just look at that. That's gorgeous. Thank you. I've never even seen that stamp. Arabesque Rosie Studio. I don't even know where you got that. And this says Prima Ballerina. And Stick Abilities is Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby, but I've never seen it at my Hobby Lobby or even the one in Virginia where I go to meet Teresa once a month. Look at these guys. The slippers, the tutu, the little dress. And this one says Twinkle Toes, Prima Ballerina. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Stacy! I can never repay you for these gifts. I mean... I could never do anything for you in return that would equal what you've done for me. This is just beyond fabulous. <gasps> oh my gosh. And to have open this on Mother's Day, no less. Oh my goodness. out over them they are so cute I always refer to her as my angel looking down on me you know and she'll always be my little girl even though she was 30 when she passed and you know not only can I sew these on little jerk cloth journal things and everything I can clip the buttons button piece off the back which I do with many of the plastic buttons and then you can glue them down on journal covers and journal pages and things Stacy Thank you so very much for that. I've never seen these charms. I've never seen anything like this. Never. Look at the little ballerina. And her skirt is painted pink. Can you see that? Stacy. This is above and beyond anything I would expect from anyone to do for me. And I have um, a Christmas tree ornament just like this. Ballet, ballet slipper. And I broke it. <laughs> I went back the next year to Hobby Lobby and they didn't have it. But the following year after that, they did. I got it. Patience is a virtue, basically. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacy. Wow. I out of the blue you sent me this. I just didn't even expect it. She sent me pictures of sunflowers that she saw at a market one time. She sent me a picture of it on email. And, you know, just little things like that that she thought I would enjoy because she knows they're my favorite flower and I'm gaga over them. And, you know, that made my day. And I kept that on my email and I looked at it many times um, when I needed to pick me up. You know, people do little things like that for you. It means the world. This is a little pink bag with pink gingham on the back and a little pink bunny, which my daughter loved bunnies. And it's a little bag with, it looks like ephemera in it. So I'm going to open that up. 
Oh yeah, boy, the sea go overboard. Oh, it's little Christmas ephemera. It's a little violin. Christmas bells. Birds. These might be stickers. They are stickers. Oh, I love the vintage angel. Just kind of like a log with holly. They're all vintage looking. I love Christmas um, crafts and journaling. And you know, some years it's hard for me without Julie to do Christmas crafts because I feel down. But I know, I know in my heart, you know, she would want me to do it. She would want me to enjoy it. And so this year I'm going to try to start like, you know, in the summertime. So I'm not so behind <laughs> as I always am at Christmas time. It's like, you know, who wants to start it December 5th because you're not going to have any time to do it. Look at these kids on the sled. How cute is that? I mean, these are just adorable. Thank you so much, Stacy. I, I can't get over, I can't get over um, not only your thoughtfulness and your generosity, but how tuned in you are to my likes, my dislikes, um, my pain and sorrow. Um, you're tuned in to everything. I, I just, it's remarkable, Stacy. Thank you very much. Um, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Let me reach into this box and get what else there is. I love that Bible cover. So pretty. Okay, there's tissue paper in there to protect. Oh my Lord, this box is never ending, people. And there's a note. I'm going to pull everything else out of here. Yep, it's empty. We're good. Okay, there's all kinds of papers, including lemons. I'm gonna set those over here for a minute so I can settle up and sort out these packages that are underneath. Girl, you done gone lost your mind. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna get you back for this. Just wait. Just wait, girly. Oh, I'm so beside myself. Where do I start? Oh my goodness. I've died and gone to sticker heaven. Just a little note. Just a little note. Lisa, I hope you enjoy all the goodies. I am horrible at remembering to get a card to include the, with the goodies. Heart Stacy. Stacy, I will treasure this little note. And today it's going in my daily creative journal. You don't need a card, honey. I feel the love that went into this box. You don't need a card. Oh my goodness. Excuse the slurping of Hazel in the water. She's a um, 100 pound pit bull and she can slurp. Oh, look at these gorgeous. These are um, vintage looking like craft paper Christmas stickers. Wow, thank you. And look at these raised forever in time butterfly stickers. These look like they came from Canada. She used to live in Canada, I believe. She was waiting for some of her stuff to come from Canada. Look at those. They're beautiful. Julie loved butterflies. She absolutely adored butterflies. Look at my Easter activity album, sticker album. Oh, so cute. Look at all the stickers for Easter. And they're like glittery foiled. 
Those are so cute. I didn't finish my Easter journal album this year, but that's okay because I put it in my Easter bin and I'll finish, I'll start it early next spring and I'll, I'll just finish it then. I was beating myself over it, beating myself up over it. And I said, you know what? It's, it's okay. You can finish it next time. Oh, I do I need a piece of white paper to show you this. These are Christmas stickers. Look at those. They're so vintagey looking and I love the sentiments. Family and friends are the true gifts of Christmas. May the magic of Christmas shine in your heart. I love those. Oh, and here's another one of those craft paper ones. Look at those. I love those. They're so old fashioned Right up my alley. Ooh, look, Holly ones. Oh, I'm just about to start making a summer journal. These will be perfect. Thank you. And these will be perfect in the summer one. These kind of festive looking drinks. Look at these. Oh, wow. Summery ones. I love it. Oh, look at these happy birthday ones. I love animals. Look at the whale, the giraffe, the lion, the little turtle, the bear, elephant, and the sloth. There's Hazel for you. Let's give them a minute. The others are deciding to join in. Mm-hmm. I love that. Okay, there are these candy cane stickers. I love all these. None of these Christmas stickers. I don't have any of these. I truly don't. Um, Stacy, so I'm going to have a lot of fun this Christmas getting ready with these stickers because I don't have any of them. Look at these ornaments. I don't have these. Well, a lot of these are from Canada, so I, I don't, of course I don't have them. Look at these little stockings. They're darling. I love them. <gasps> these elves. I can't stand it. They're so cute. Look at the little The word escapes me. Nutcracker. And look. Look at this sack of toys, little doll. <gasps> I can't stand it. It's so cute. Teddy bear. Oh my gosh. Too cute. Okay, I need another piece of white paper. These are shaker stockings. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is too cute. Oh, shaker gift packages. Oh, wouldn't that be the cutest on journals and maybe stick one on a Christmas card? Oh my gosh. These are shaker penguins and snowmen and little reindeer and Christmas trees. My goodness. Oh no, these aren't shaker. They're just puffy looking. Look at how darling these are. If you don't love these, there is something seriously wrong with you. Go to therapy. Oh my goodness. Okay, then there are these gem stickers. Golden. Now you can use these for anything. Valentine's Day. Christmas, any time of year on any project. I that's are, those are so versatile. There's some flat ornament stickers. Oh my gosh, Stacy, I can use every single one of these. My pile is slipping. It's gonna fall. Um, you have alphas and numbers in this pretty turquoise color. I use these in my journals every day for the date and you know the number. 
Look at these ornament stickers. Oh my goodness. Girl, where'd you get all these? Wow, these are gorgeous. They're foiled. Wow. And there's another silver and gold foiled ornaments. beyond description. <gasps> Look at these silver and gold foil snowflakes. Just beautiful. Oh, I use alphas every day. Look at these black. You can't see these. What am I doing? These black bubbled ones. And then these cream colored bubble eyes. Wow, this is, this is a never ending pile, Stacey. I mean to tell you, what were you thinking, girl? She knows I love Paisley. Paisleys are my favorite, too. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love Paisleys. Those will be going in my journals. And last but not least on the stickers, I love owls. Look at how cute these owls are. Oh my goodness. Stacy. I don't even know what to say, but thank you so much. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that I have shown all the stickers, we have papers. 12 by 12s, and it looks like some 9.5 by 11s. So the 9.5 by 11s are lemons. Lemons! Hi, yes, please. And it looks like there are five or six of those. I can't wait to die cut with these and cut these into squares for journaling cards and everything else you can imagine. Thank you so, so much, Stacy. The 12 by 12, there are clouds. I love using that. There is an orange ombre. I love orange. It's one of the reasons I put this top on today. I love oranges. There's this blue kind of diamond cut print. This is a Christmas sentiment sheet. Day, I say, I command you. A plaid. Another plaid. Oh, paper heaven. Sunflowers. I love that. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I don't have this Easter one. I love it. Easter eggs. Oh, and when I'm working on my daughter's albums, I have used, like, girl baby things. Look at this pink baby with pink feet. I, I will definitely use it, Stacey. Thank you so much. Oh, I love this. It's like, um, reminds me of artists, like, watercolors, flowers. Mmm, gorgeous. I love that. This is a fun dot theme. Thank you so much for all these. Wow. A nice pink. Oh, this is like an old fashioned vintage. -y. It reminds me of old time wallpaper. And this is like those vintage Santas we used to see when we were kids. I'm dating myself because uh, this is like stuff we would see in the 60s. Red and white stripe. Some chevron. I can't believe how messy this desk is. Oh, I love this. It looks like, you know, you're looking into a pool. Some picnic gingham. Oh, I love this color chevron. Turquoise or teal and white. 
Um, let me see if I missed anything. I believe I got it all. Stacy. I don't know what to say. I mean... You've been behind the scenes doing this for a while. You little sneak. And I had no idea, you know, no clue, obviously. And, um, I can't begin to say how much this means to me. Especially with all I've been going through the last few months. And here lately, I've been having a hard time with my daughter and missing her. And I don't know why, you know, like I miss her a lot more at her birthday and at Christmas. And on her death date in December. But, um, you know, I don't know why, you know, late April and May, that's not, you know, it's not any special dates. Mother's Day, yeah, I can understand that. But I mean, the last two or three weeks, it's been coming up in my mind a lot, and I've been struggling with it a lot. And seeing things in stores that bother me, you know, that I would have bought for her had she been here. Um, so this is this is a well-timed package, <laughs> and um. Appreciate all the thoughtfulness that you put into um, things for things that you know that I love and things that you know that are meaningful pertaining to Julie. Um, you know, sometimes people are afraid to speak of her or afraid to, you know, give me things about her because they're afraid they'll upset me. But it's actually the opposite. They, you know, sure, I'll get emotional, but it's in a good way because, you know, she's she's gone, but she's still here with me in my heart and I still treasure her and I still put pictures out on the coffee table and I still have my table by the front door with all her little bunnies on it and her little ballerina figurines and her little ballerina shoes that I, you know, ceramic ones and stuff that I find. Some of the Christmas ornaments like the ballerina slippers and stuff. I don't, I don't put those away till Christmas. I display those on the coffee table or on her little table. You know, they're little pink ballerina slippers and I don't put those away for Christmas. I just leave those out. And, um, you know, so people, people act like uh, she was never here. And she was, and she is in my heart. And so I appreciate that you think of her and know that she's meaningful to me. You don't know how much that means to me. Um, these are treasures to me, these little jewelry things. They are absolute treasures. And they will go in one of my special boxes. Um, perhaps in this lemon box that Michelle mailed me. All these little jewelry things. And when I go to make something pertaining to her, um, you know, I'll pull it out of this little box. Some One of these little meaningful boxes that I have. All these little jewelry things that you sent me will go in there. And I love you so much. And I thank you so much. And this video is quite long. So Eileen, I will put your package in a different video. And I thank you so much, Stacy. And this was totally unexpected out of the blue. And I apologize that it took me so long to get to it. And I know that when I told you that uh, it, it had been a while and that, you know, I had been in the hospital um, and that I would get to it in a couple days. And you said in your email, you said, forget about the package oh my god are you okay and that was so nice of you and um it did take me a couple more weeks after that I said a couple days and it's been a couple weeks but it's been kind of crazy around here with getting things um back together and 
so many things were so far behind around here because of the migraine situation. I just couldn't do things. So slowly things are getting back together and um, things are caught up. So, <sighs> big deep breath. So, I'm just stunned. I, I'm truly just stunned at this gift that you gave me, you know. It's not that, oh, wow, someone sent me a package and it has nice gifts in it. It's anyone can do that. And it's appreciated. But it's the immense amount of time and thoughtfulness and attention to detail, attention to paying attention to what I say. And it makes it so meaningful to me. Um, you know, I don't get up here on the videos and talk about my daughter and talk about lemons and talk about turtles and so people will give me stuff. It's just stuff that I talk about because it's stuff that I love and I want to share with the world, you know, things that I enjoy and, and people give me ideas. Oh, you can, you can get these lemon plates at such a place and, you know, um, have you ever thought of making, you know, turtle this or that? And we share ideas and it's great and I love it. But for someone to pay that much attention to what I say and... And do all this. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. You have no idea how this makes me feel. <laughs> I know that someone's out there that really truly cares and loves me. And if I had to pick up the phone and call you, I could. If I had to email you and say, today's a shit day, I could. And that's wonderful. I appreciate it so much. And if there's anything I can do for you, you know I would. So thank you so much for not only the gifts, but for making me feel cared about and loved. Thank you so much, Stacey. Bye.